Bimulay 51, turn right, heading 180. 014, Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. Airbus's newest up-and-coming instalment has flown under the radar, mainly due to the aircraft manufacturer keeping developments largely on the down low and only really announcing that it would be launching through a soft announcement in a press release discussing their quarterly results. In fact, the actual announcement got about three lines worth of dedicated focus point. This is the Airbus A350 freighter that I'm speaking of, an aircraft that Airbus believes will propel them forward within the aviation industry, especially within the freight market. For multiple decades now, Boeing has largely remained uncontested as the primary aircraft manufacturer for freighter operations. It's not hard to see why. Boeing has amassed a collection of aircraft and options of varying different sizes for freighter operators, where no matter the size they needed, there's likely an option for them at Boeing. Whereas with Airbus's catalogue, it was much smaller, and they were always missing a freighter that was bigger than that of the A330F. Thanks to Lee Ham News, with a full link to their article in their description, we've learnt a little bit more about the aircraft on top of what we've already known, and how it will be rolling out to customers, which in my opinion is always interesting. Before we set off, Airbus had actually previously noted that they wouldn't launch the A350 freighter without customers arranged and more. They basically wanted that added confirmation that the aircraft would be backed, and like you probably imagine, they wouldn't want to launch the aircraft and see no interest whatsoever. Securing those initial orders are absolutely crucial. However, in this new report, what has been revealed is that while they did launch the aircraft, they haven't actually seen firm launch customers inked in. Airbus launched this aircraft as they genuinely believe that the market needs it. They see it as a successful aircraft in its own right and soon will be competing with the 777X freighter. However, according to this report, a launch at the 2021 Dubai Air Show that many believe would make sense for the 777XF will not be taking place. Although, of course, we wait to hear that firm confirmation with regards to that and that will only come when the air show actually happens. Airbus further notes that an A350 freighter just works. However, it has been primarily made in a way that will severely benefit customers and will give them something extra that the previous freighter offerings from Airbus did not provide. The A350F, as we know, will be based on the A350-1000 due to its maximum takeoff weight, specifically the 319 ton model. This means that the freighter will be longer than that of the 777F and also have 10% larger freighter volume than the 777F. Airbus notes that they are currently competing with this aircraft and at a point we know that because Boeing has not moved forward with the 777XF, which when they do, the two will go head to head and I think it will be very, very interesting to see in comparison where Boeing exceeds or falls short in comparison to the A350F. What Airbus has made note of is that currently they wipe the floor of the 777F with their latest offering and it's not hard to see why with the newer technology, better economics and of course the bigger payload. Either way though, one thing Airbus does have up on Boeing is the launch time of the aircraft. Airbus is targeting a 2025 entry into service for their A350F and the 777XF when it does come will no doubt be later than that. Even if Airbus sees their delivery slip into 2026 with at the moment late 2025 being given as an estimation, they will still have it in service before Boeing, giving it that head start that may be crucial to the program. What are your thoughts on Airbus's newest aircraft, the A350 Freighter? You can let me know down in the comment section below and as always, thanks very much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you next time.